All right, uh, thank you very much. So I guess it's very important that we quickly review the overview of this uh, training module and also for us to understand our expectation at the end of this training. So this is actually the course content of the, of the training. So we'll quickly be running through it to bring us a quick understanding. So this is a training on mobile data collection and data management using the ComCare. And of course, we'll be introducing ourselves to ComCare uh, data collection application today. So I'm going to save this uh, background information. Of course, our target audience are researchers, uh, project managers, university lecturers, consultants, feed managers, and the monitoring and evaluation professional. So this is going to be a five days uh, online training. And then of course it's starting today. And the expectation of this training is that at the end of this training, participant will learn how to convert paper form questionnaires into digital form that can be used for mobile data collection and case management. Now the word case management uh, is used in the health sector or probably in the public health, whereby you can follow a patient through longitudinally, which implies that you can follow a patient through, uh, 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 through a period of time longitudinally, all right? Then uh, we'll learn how to build basic mobile application, install, and also use on phone. Then we learn how to view, manage, and export data within ComCare. Then lastly, a participant will learn how to map and visualize data on ComCare. So for course outline for module one, so each of the module is going to cover for each day. So for module one, that is what we are taking today, where it's going to, we are going to be taking introduction to ComCare and benefit. And we're going to be looking at introduction of key, of key concept, methodology, advantages, disadvantages, setting up for ComCare HQ, navigating through ComCare HQ, a case study, and best practice. So there are some, there are some things we'll touch here, and there are some that we'll discuss in details in other module. Then in module two, that is the second day, uh, it looks at building an, a basic application, then these are the uh, 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 outline for module two. Then for module three, the third day, uh, focus on refining uh, application for case management. And of course, uh, it also have those uh, uh, details for the module. Then day four, we are going to look at publishing and installing application and more in terms of managing uh, mobile workers and web users and all of that. Then on day five, is going to be the participant presentation and action plan, which means that uh, we're going to de develop an action plan as a follow-up support in this module. So this is going to take, um, and of course, certification will be issued to successful uh, a, a participant who has completed this course. All right. So I want to believe that everybody is clear with expectation as regarding this course. So I move out from here to my presentation. Thank you. All right. So this is going to provide us for ComCare overview based on the first module. So this is going to be looking at ComCare overview. So the learning objectives are, we'll look at mobile data application comparison, ComCare key terminologies, general description of ComCare, the distinction between ComCare Mobile and ComCare HQ. Then we're going to look at how ComCare can be used. Then we're going to look at definition of ComCare projects. And this is actually going to be the focus of this course. Then we're also going to look at web, web and uh, mobile users. All right. 
So the first thing we are going to be starting with is mobile data collection application comparison table. Now, I'm sure that some of you might be familiar with ODK, Open Data Kit, and some of you might be familiar with other uh, uh, platform. We have the Kobo Collect, we have the Honor, we have the Survey CTO, and we have Comcare. So one thing that I've tried to do is to provide some basic comparison as regard futures that has to do with this application. Now, so for this comparison, we are, we are comparing Comcare with Survey CTO, with Honor, and with Kobo Collect. Now, in terms of pricing, we can see, so there are free version of Comcare, but it's also limited to what forms you can create and to the type of support uh, uh, you can receive. Then we can see for service CTO, we can see for Honor, we can see for Kobo Collect. Then in terms of the Google Play Store application for offline data collection, for Comcare, we have the Comcare ODK version two. So which implies that if you go to your Play Store on your Android phone, you can easily uh, search for Comcare ODK version two. Then for Survey CTO, the Play Store application is called Survey CTO. Then from Honor, uh, you use ODK Collect. Then also for Kobo Collect, uh, you can also use Kobo Collect. But however, in connecting to uh, connecting to ODK, I mean connecting to ODK Collect is more reliable. Which means that for Kobo Collect, you can actually use the Kobo Collect Play Store application. However, connecting to ODK Connect is actually more reliable. Now, in, in terms of form creation, now uh, you can for Comcare form builder interface can be used, or you upload XLS form. Form builder in the sense that uh, you can build your form online, which will require uh, 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 internet connection in form creation. Why in building your form using XLS form, this can be built offline and you can upload your form. Then on that survey CTO, you can also use a form builder with XLS form interface. Then same applicable to Honor and same applicable to Kobo Collect, which implies that the same XLS form that has been built can actually be used for either of the four platforms. Then in terms of the form library, uh, Comcare use Comcare Exchange application library. Then uh, Survey uh, CTO also use uh, 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 Survey CTO server pre-built so, uh, surveys. Then why Honor use form gallery? Why Kobo Collect uses question library instead of a form library? Now in case of case management, uh, excuse typo there. Now in case of case management, case management is available for Comcare and also for survey CTO, but it's not available for Honor or and also for Kobo Collect, which means that for Comcare and survey CTO, you can actually trace your uh, 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 your, your, your beneficiary or your, or, or your patient longitudinally over a period of time, and that cannot be done for Honor and Kobo Collect. Then in terms of export format, then we can see the formats of forms that can be exported under Comcare, under Survey CTO, under Honor, and also under Kobo Collect. Now in terms of API access, uh, you have to have a premium account under Comcare, then also a premium account under Survey CTO. Uh, the information is not available on, on Honor, why it is actually free for Kobo Collect. So this, the essence of this is to just to give you a quick comparison uh, 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 on these four mobile data collection applications so that can help you to, uh, to appreciate and also to understand the differences uh, uh, with this application with a uh, few of the futures that you know we've shared. I move on from here in talking to us about some Comcare HQ key terminologies. So these are some of the terminologies that you know you have to familiarize yourself with. Number one is application. Now the complete Comcare executable that get downloaded and installed on a phone is called application. So the application in Comcare as it were, is not like the application that we might understand it uh, in a computer system or in programming. But these are uh, executable application that you know can be used 
to that can get downloaded and installed on phone. And this is the application that will be used by the mobile user to submit data to Comcare HQ. Then form. Now the questionnaire that is filled by the mobile user is called the form. So a form uh, often uh, responds to an action, right? <clears throat> so when we have the normal questionnaire, we have them in, in the paper form. So we don't refer it as questionnaire, but they are referred to as form. So the questionnaire that is filled out by the mobile user is actually what we call form, all right? Then the other one is what we call case. Now, anything that is being tracked by the Comcast system over a time, it, often it could be an household, it could be an individual, it's called case. And that is why we, we, we call it case management. That is, you manage an individual or a household or a beneficiary or a patient over a period of time. So that is called case. Then we have the terminology that we call submit. Now, a form that has been sent to the Comcare server, which is dependent on internet access, is called submission. All right. So which implies when you when you upload your application, that is the first terminology. When you upload your ap application on your mobile phone, then you complete the form. OK, then when you complete the form filling, you can now submit the form to the Comcast server. And of course, this is dependent on internet access. Then of course, we have what we call the completion time. This is the time which a form is actually con completed, okay? As indicated, when reaching the end of the form question and present save and exit, we'll get to understand this. Then we have the received time. This is the time which a completed form has been received by the Comcare HQ. Of course, this is also dependent on time access. Then we also have what we call the mobile user. So the mobile user as someone who completed a form in Comcare mobile device. These are the people uh, are typically we call enumerators or we call research assistants. They could be hair and feed officers, they could be enumerators, they could be girls child coordinators, they could be facilitators, they could be program teams as the case might be. Then when we have the web users, web users are, is someone who uses the Comcare HQ to manage the project or view the project. Now I'm sure you, uh, you, you'll you be hearing Comcare HQ, uh, you, you have better understanding of it uh, uh, shortly. Then uh, lastly is what we call group. So a group is a collection of users that can be manually classified into groups by geographic area. So these are some of the uh, key terminologies that you know you have to understand so that as we proceed, you will have better understanding in the usage of it. Let me move on here very quickly. What is Comcare? Now, Comcare was created by a firm called Dimaji. All right. So sometimes we use this uh, Dimaji Comcare uh, interchangeably, but uh, Comcare was actually created by a firm that is called Dimaji. So Comcare was initially built to advance uh, M Health practice. It was introduced to Mexico. Mexico is an international. A uh, 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 humanitarian organization during the Ebola response in Liberia. The Comcare can be cost, is customized is customizable. Of course, it's an open source mobile data collection application and platform. Uh, is a mobile based case management tools for tracking uh, for, for 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 tracking patient for for tracking patient facility transaction or anything else that need to be followed over a period of time, which means that Comcare can be used as a management tools to track an individual, an household, a client, a transaction over a period of time. Then Comcare also allows non-programmers to be able to build mobile application, which implies that you don't need to be very strong in programming for you to be, to, for you to be able to build mobile application using Comcare. Then uh, another point here is that it allows uh, the application to be used across numerous sectors 
where there is need to collect data digitally. All right, so let me move on here very quickly uh, with this understanding. What are the benefits of ComCare? So ComCare provide tools for frontline workers to be more, um, to more effectively communicate with their client. All right, uh, ComCare can, uh, can, we can use that tools in terms of ComCare can be used as job aids and ComCare can also be used as, as, uh, as a job aid, all right, in, the, in communicating to client or to patient. It also helps to remember every important point during section with client. Like I said, you can use ComCare, you can use ComCare for job aids, all right? You can also use ComCare for, uh, 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 for counseling, for patient counseling, for family planning, or for public health issues. Then ComCare also increases the authority and the credibility of the frontline workers. Also, ComCare collect data in real time. So data on ComCare can collect in real time about a frontline worker's activities to help with monitoring and program improvement. Now, data collection in real time, of course, might be dependent on internet access as well. So what are the components of ComCare? There are two com components of ComCare that you need to understand. Number one is what we call the ComCare Mobile. Now the ComCare Mobile is a mobile device part of ComCare. It is usually the mobile application. So this could be uh, a tablet, it could be a phone, or someone's entering data using the computer. So someone using ComCare Mobile could be a feed worker's the secondly, we have what we call the ComCare HQ, uh, which is the website where users can as assess data, design their application, and also manage mobile workers. So ComCare HQ users are typically supervisors, researchers, project managers, and also data analysts. Then also, ComCare runs on a mobile uh, phone-based application on two types of device. So it could be Android phones and, and basic features of Technos like Nokia and Technos phones. Can, uh, so ComCare can actually run on all Android smartphones and also on, on other uh, the basic feature phones like the Nokia and the Techno phones. So how does ComCare work? Like I said, number one, you build your application. Now, you use the ComCare HQ application builder to build your application. Now, if you don't use the ComCare HQ form builder to build your application, you can also use the XLS form to build your application. So when you use the XLS form to build your application, you have to convert the form to a readable format when you can upload it to ComCare HQ. But if you are not using the XLS form, then we can use the ComCare HQ application. So for this course, we are going to focus on, the, on, 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 on XLX, then we're also going to focus on the form builder as much as possible. All right, so when that is done, when that is done, then you install the applications on your phones, which means you download the application to your Android phone or your basic phone or your basic feature phone so that the mobile workers or the enumerators or the researcher can start data collection. Then when that is done, when, when is installation is done to your phone, you collect your data. Then, then, then number four, you analyze your data and also monitor your workers. So your workers in this case could be your enumerators, could be your uh, uh, clinic staff, could be your m and &E officers, or should, could be your research associates. So this is how the process, how ComCare works. Then how, how is ComCare to be uh, being used? Now ComCare can be used for a number of purposes, like I said. ComCare can be used for data collection. It's a tool for mobile users to directly digitalize their information so that it can be accessed via a computer. 
Comcare also helps in decision support because it supports complex logic that can guide a user to ask the right questions and providing appropriate advice. Then Comcare can also be used as job aid. I'm sure we, we are all familiar with job aids. It, as a case management tool, Comcare can help users to prioritize tax, remind users to make visits, and also to do complex calculation. Then lastly, Comcare can also be used as a counseling tool, which means multimedia device and multi multi multimedia like images, audios, and videos can be embedded in the application and it enhances counseling experience. What do we call Comcare projects? Now, each project has its own space that is called a project space on Comcare HQ with its own name. Now, a project is a secured web portal in the Comcare system that contains all data related to your Comcare application, as well as the tools that can help you create and manage and deploy your applications and workers. Oh, so which implies anyone that creates their own project space can choose to let others have access to their project in terms of the access rights. Then a project can be one application or many applications, which means uh, for a project that you've created, you can have different applications, which means that you, you can create applications that, fo that focus on wash project. You can we can also create another application that focuses on food security. You can focus another application that focuses on maternal and child mortality in one project space. So Comcast also allows that. Then, which means that you can also create a, a, an application also for case management. We'll also discuss this later. Then to have an access to any project space, you must have a Comcare HQ account, all right? This is also something we're going to be discussing in the, in, in, in the later part of this course, I mean, of this uh, uh, training. Then as a Comcare HQ user, you can create or be invited to multiple project spaces. If you belong to multiple project spaces, after logging into Comcare HQ, you'll be able to choose which space you want to work in at the time. Now, some of these things might look like, like theory to you, but of course, the essence of this class is, is an introductory class to, to be able to build a background upon which uh, this training, uh, 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 we can develop the training on. Then also, we have what we call the Comcare web and mobile users. Of course, I've explained this before now. So the mobile users, these are the accounts for using Comcare on your phone or on your tablet. Then we also have the web users, which is also called the Comcare HQ, all right? Which is called the Comcare HQ. These are the accounts for assessing the Comcare website where you can build applications manage users, set users, and build data, which implies a mobile user cannot assess, cannot build application or manage users or manage setting or view data. Only a Comcare HQ users can build application, that is can build a form, can manage users, and also can view data. Then of course, I've, I've, I've actually explained who is a Comcare HQ web users, all right? So this gives a detailed explanation of who a Comcare web users is. Then, like I said, it can create, it can modify, it can download, and it can also deploy Comcare application. It can also create, manage, and delete mobile users. A Comcare HQ web user can also view and export data submitted by mobile workers. A Comcare HQ, can also send text messages to mobile workers. This is another good feature of Comcare HQ that allows you to be able to send text messages to your Comcare, I mean, to your web, to your mobile users. And lastly, uh, it also, sorry, the screen is, yeah, and lastly, It also manages workspace 
settings. Then what are the roles? So come care web users, there are roles. We have the admin roles, we have the application editor, we have the dashboard test, we have the feed implementer, we have the no edit data, and also have the read only. So for each of your mobile users, you can actually give them roles in terms of what you want them to access, probably to be able to edit their web users, edit mobile workers, edit data, edit application or view report based on the roles you want to assign to all of this point. So at this note, uh, the essence of this introduction, like I said, is to provide a quick background to uh, Comcare HQ in terms of the objective that was set for this uh, class, for this uh, section. Now, like I said, uh, the way I do my training is more of practical other than uh, more of theories. But it is very important on the first day that we are able to introduce us and give a background to Comcare HQ. What have we been able to cover in this call, in this module? We have been able to understand the mobile data application in terms of their comparison. Now we have a better understanding of key terminologies in Comcare. Now we have a better overview of what is Comcare. We now have an understanding about the difference between a Comcare mobile and a Comcare HQ. We now have an understanding on how Comcare can be used. We have understanding of the definition of Comcare project. And we also have the understanding of a web and a mobile uh, users. So on this note, I will say thank you for your presentation.